Welcome to the 5 Minutes with Franza series. I'm your host, Dr. Thomas Franza. Today we are going to be covering the Digital Dropbox. The Digital Dropbox is a very useful tool for it allows you to submit documents to your professor. An example might be homework. The Digital Dropbox is different from the discussion board in that everything posted in the discussion board is visible to everyone in that course, where the Digital Dropbox is only visible to you and the professor. As a matter of fact, you can even post material to the Digital Dropbox and not submit it to your professor. Let's take a look. The Digital Dropbox can be found in the Tools section. Under Tools, you'll see a link to the Digital Dropbox. Here you can see we already have some items that have been submitted, but you know what? Let's submit one ourselves. To, to submit one to a professor, we click Send File, not Add File. Add File allows me to put stuff in the digital Dropbox, but not submit it to my professor. I want to submit this, so I click Sell. I can then say, let's pick a name. This will be my Chapter 1 Homework. I browse for the file. And in this case, here we go, my chapter one homework, and I say open. It is good to note here that when you submit files via the digital Dropbox, make sure that they do not have the pound symbol in their name. If they do, this will upset Blackboard and it will give a 404 error and the professor will not be able to retrieve your document. So once again, pound symbols are a no-no leave them out, do not use them, they are bad, they are evil. Well, only in this case. Always put some comments because this helps your professor to know what you're submitting. In this case, I'm going to tell my professor to please grade this one and not the previous homework. And now, here I can use the number one as long as it's not in my file name. We click Submit. When we click Submit, please note that it says the file has been sent to the selected users with the role of instructor. What this means is if there's more than one instructor in the course, both of them would get it. Now that we have one, that wonderful news, we click OK. If I submit something to the digital Dropbox, but not to my professor, I do have the option to remove it. Once an item is sent to your professor, it is sent. You cannot pull it back. So with that in mind, think before you submit. I hope you found this useful, and thank you for listening to the 5 Minutes with Franza series. I hope you come back for more videos. Also, once again, don't forget to log out of Blackboard when you're done. Thank you for listening.